The Super Mario Brothers film by Illumination is the perfect Mario film in every way possible. And one of the reasons it's so great are all the Easter eggs scattered throughout. Spoilers ahead for Super Mario Brothers, the movie. And don't forget to give us a like and a subscribe, and be sure to ring that bell to stay up to date for all our newest videos. Let's go! Let's take a look at my 25 favorite Easter eggs. Duck Hunt Restaurant. Seen in the streets of Brooklyn, the Duck Hunt logo restaurant stares at you, and while the plumbers are figuring out how to save Brooklyn from a flood, I'm having PTSD of a dog laughing at me. The restaurant is called Chasse O Canard. Chase O Canard? The, the restaurant is called Duck Hunt in French. Luigi's Mansion, one of my all time favorite games, gets a nod in the movie with Luigi's flashlight. The flashlight flickers and he calls out his brother's name. A great reference and I appreciated it. Level 1-2. As the Mario Brothers begin the second part of their journey, they enter a strange sewer system known as Level 1-2. You get the reference and you love it. The first damsel in distress Mario saved was Pauline from the evil clutches of Donkey Kong. She appears in a news report about Brooklyn being flooded. It's fantastic. Sidesteppers. Sidesteppers appear in writing during a news report, and I honestly thought we were going to see them when the brothers entered level 1-2. It was kind of a missed opportunity, especially a POW box. Star Fox crossover? No. But the Fox's Money r wing ship is seen in Mario's room. You'll also be able to find a poster for F-Zero on Mario's wall. Pikmin! During Mario and Luigi's first plumbing gig, they rescue a dog that doesn't take too kindly to Luigi, and while the dog is hanging by the window, stuck to a plunger, a Pikmin figurine is seen in the household. Punch-Out Pizzeria! This one is right off the bat, and it is fantastic. Little Mac is all over the pizzeria walls, his photos are everywhere, and you'll even see his green boxing gloves on display. In that same pizzeria, you'll find a arcade console with this little-known video game called Donkey Kong in there, and the man playing Donkey Kong is voiced by none other than Charles Martinet. King ba -bomb. From Mario 64 was a hilarious cameo. At Bowser's wedding, King Boo can be seen walking down the aisle, and Petey Piranha awaits the bride and groom seated for the wedding. Foreman Spike, this was a fantastic little Easter egg cameo, whatever you want to call it. Foreman Spike was the antagonist in Wrecking Crew, and in this he plays the Mario's former employee. And he's not too happy the brothers left his business to start their own company, voiced by Sebastian Maniscalco. Later on, you're going to see them actually kind of go through a Wrecking Crew level. Mario has a Nintendo and plays Kid Icarus. Brilliant. Three of the Koopalings. I only saw three of them, but I'm hoping the rest are around somewhere. Bowser is musical in this one, and the Koopalings are no different. They play in a punk rock band, and it is fantastic. In this, I saw Iggy, Lemmy, and Ludwig Van Koopa. Speaking of Ludwig Van Koopa, when Bowser plays the piano, you can see Ludwig Van Koopa on the branding. Toadette appears on a poster in the Mushroom Kingdom. Blink, and you'll miss her. Baby Mario, Baby Luigi, and Baby Peach. And their designs were perfect. Oh, and we get to see an island filled with Yoshi. Yoshi's egg, seen as a wedding gift, then later appears as an end credit scene hatching in Brooklyn. Huge universe with lots of galaxies is mentioned by Princess Peach. Surely this is a reference to Mario Galaxy. Will we see Rosalina in part two? We do see Illumily in this one. Unlike Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong receives a shout out and we get a glimpse of Dixie Kong, Kitty Kong, Funky Kong, Swanky Kong, and Chunky Kong. DK's rap, the inhabitants of the Jungle Kingdom sing it as Donkey Kong prepares to fight a Mario. The GameCube theme, Mario and Luigi receive exactly one call as plumbers and Luigi's ringtone is the GameCube startup chime. As we travel through the Mushroom Kingdom, we pass a crazy cap store. A nod to Mario Odyssey. The Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Rap. It's the Mario Brothers plumbing commercial song and they also wear their Super Mario World capes and it is perfect. The Mushroom Kingdom features an antique shop with the font to the original Super Mario Brothers game and features treasure boxes from Mario 3 as well as some of the items from the game such as music 
Toad Fox. And you can hear a toad asking another toad if this thing works, and the response, blow into it. A deep cut for us older fans. Sorry Mario, but your princess is in another castle. Used as a gag by toads guarding Princess Peach's castle, I found this humorous and I also wanted to punch that toad in the face. This was a great reference to the very first Mario game and the first time childhood hearts in the 80s were broken. These are my 25 favorite Easter eggs in the Super Mario Brothers movie. The music itself is an Easter egg and I love the use of the blue shell from Mario Kart. Let me know your favorites in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Give us a like and a subscribe and until next time, may you be the masters of your own universe.